installing php mysql and apache web server into your linux system first of all open up your any types of browser and in the google search for install php in fedora now currently i am using fedora linux if you are using ubuntu linux and another types of linux distribution so you need to follow another types of way okay so first of all when i search in the google install php in fedora linux you see the portal developer.fedoraproject.org if you are using red hat enterprise linux or any types of arch based linux distribution or red hat enterprise based linux distribution or fedora based linux distribution process will be same to same okay and if you are using let's say uh, ubuntu linux system first of all you need to come to our channel microcodes and in the search box you can search for lamp so as you can see i have uploaded near about two videos you you can watch the first video install lamp stack in linux this is for ubuntu and debian based linux distribution for the fedora or red hat enterprise based linux distribution process will be some different so first of all you need to copy the command which is sudo dna install php cli so just search for the terminal and paste the command here provide your super user password and hit enter okay now it will asking you for download near about 5 mb of packages now after that you need to install php unit and composer package so i will copy the thing and i will clear the terminal and i, I will paste the command by control shift v it will download near about 5 mb of packages so i will click on the continue button now after that you need to install php mysqli because it will help you to connect php file with the mysql server so as you can see our file get almost completed so wait for few seconds to complete this now paste the another command and hit enter so it will download the php mysql d now hit y to install so this is the basically beauty of fedora linux you does not need to do anything from scratch it will do everything for you okay now the main thing is you need to also install mysql server so just search sudo dnf search and you need to type mysql so it will fetch all the mysql type of files and the related things so as you can see we got many types of files but for installing mysql server you can see this is uh, you, you will find a community mysql okay here is going to see community mysql leaves x8664 the shared libraries for mysql client and uh, you can also find here community mysql common x8664 the shared file records for mysql server and the client okay so we will we, you can install anything whatever you want so we will install this program which is community mysql x8664 mysql client program and the shared libraries because we are using the amd processor into my laptop but if you are using intel based laptop or any types of laptop which architecture is basically x86 and 64 you can follow this way now just paste the command just like this and i have already installed mysql so i does not need to install mysql now for create a new user types so for create the mysql user first of all you need to exit from the mysql clear all the terminal type sudo mysql and you need to type create user and let's say my username is hacker so i will type hacker at the rate localhost okay and i will type identified by and the password let's say one two three four now i need to provide all the privileges permission to that so i will type grant privileges on eto eto to the username which is hacker sorry 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 guys you will type grant all privileges 
on asterisk dot asterisk to the username which is hacker at the rate the position which is local host now you need to type flash privileges okay now you can exit the thing you can clear up the terminal now for logging into that account by using your hacker account you need to type mysql hyphen u for the username type your username i have created as hacker and i will type the password now the password is 1234 now if i type a let's say show databases so as you can see it shows all the databases here which i have already created in the past so now i will uh, exit from there now the main thing is you also need to install apache web server so how can you do this so for that just type sudo dnf search and you need to type h uh, say apache okay so as you can see it have fetch all the things for us but we just need apache web server so how can we do this so in the upper corner section you may be find httpd type of thing here as you can see apache http server okay so for installing this just copy the name now clear the terminal and you need to type sudo dnf install and just type the thing so it will download near about 3 mb of packages so hit y and hit install so it will download the apache web server for us and after that yeah. we will create a php file and we will see that how the things is work now clear the terminal and you need to type sudo systemctl uh, status and you need to type httpd so as you can see it, it does not loaded it disabled so for that we need to load that first so just type sudo systemctl enable and httpd so we have create a system link now if i type here status as you can see we have active this service but we does not start the service so for starting this service you need to type sudo systemctl start httpd now if i check the status as you can see it have enabled it have active now type control z and clear all the messy stuff now the main thing hey guys let's see how to do a php code inside your var lib folder so first of all open your terminal okay i will zoom that terminal now go to the var lib directory now type var ww html so first of all we will create a new folder let's say sudo mkdir and folder is uh, app2 okay now we will provide our super user password now as you can see app2 folder got created we are inside the app2 folder and there is no files now first of all we will open our sublime text editor into that folder now the main thing is we will create a file inside that thing so we will open app2 and let's say we have create a folder uh, sorry file as page1.php and inside this we will create a php script and let's say the script is name equals to shimonto dash okay and let's say website equals to micro codes dot in okay now first of all we will echo that thing so uh, name is dot dollar name so i will save the file and let's say i will echo that thing another time and in that time i will echo as website and i will create as website name i will echo a break tag here and i will save that file now first of all if i type ls hyphen l as you can see 
it does not have the executable permission so we will need to provide the executable permission to that file so for that i will type sudo chmod plus uh, sorry 777 and we will type start so what it will do it will provide all the files folder as executable permission now if i type ls hyphen l as you can see it got the read write executable everything permission so for checking your code or the file just type localhost so this is the default page and we are inside the we are inside the app2 directory so we will go to the app2 so this is page one so as you can see the output is here so in this way you can install your php code you can do whatever you want to do you can create your database connection and the most important thing is wh whatever the code you will do always provide the executable permission to that file okay so in this way you can do this so thank you guys for watching this video i will see in the next time